This picture was very much on my mind when I was thinking about the film I made, Killers of the Flower Moon. The way that Robert Mitchum and Robert Preston were dressed, the way they looked in the frame, really was a direct inspiration for me and for Jackie West, who was the costume designer. But it was also a model for really how to approach the characters and their complicated relationships. There's a friendship between Robert Mitchum and Robert Preston in particular. They're very old friends. Mitchum seems to be in need of a job, and Preston, who's become a wealthy rancher, offers him one. And he appears uh, to be a really likable person. And when I saw the film, I was six years old and left this major impression on me because of this relationship. Mitchum learns that Preston wants to help take over another herd by any means necessary. So what does he do? He keeps working for his old friends so he can eat and make a living. Or should he do the right thing and betray his friend? As I say, I vividly remember being a kid watching this picture, and I thought that Mitchum and Preston were both so likable. Preston, in particular, had that music man feel about him right then. He was so winning. And when I saw there was a warm relationship between them, I was relieved. Because up to that point in the film, everybody seems to be actually very mean to each other. And for a child, it was very, very interesting because I was used to seeing Westerns that were more traditional, in a way. This relationship builds throughout the picture, and ultimately, it comes into a confrontation. And they get into a fight, this knockdown, drag-out brawl between Mitchum and Preston. It's an exhausting fight. It seems to go on forever, and it's very, very different from the choreographed fight scenes I had seen in other B-Westerns up to that point.